Weekends, weather from where you live. Well, I'm tracking some scattered thunder showers as expected on Live Doppler 18. These are pushing in from the west. So, again, hit or miss if you're headed out to the football games this evening. But I can't rule out at least one or two of these producing a little small pea sized hail, but no severe weather is expected. But these are putting out some lightning. We'll go to our precision network. You see some of these lightning strikes here in eastern and central Illinois. So, I can't rule out a little thunder and lightning this evening, but nothing really too significant. And hopefully, we'll get a little more needed rain for some of you out there after what has been a pretty wet week of good welcome soaking rains in our area. And there's that trough we talked about last night swinging in from the west. It popped a few scattered thunder showers last night. Now we're getting more popping up today. This will pivot through for the evening and overnight hours with some of these showers and thunder showers. And then as it moves off to the east tomorrow, still may pop a lingering isolated shower for Saturday. But by and large, Saturday will be an okay day. Quite a few clouds bubbling up and high temperatures only in the 70s. So here is Saturday's forecast. There goes the trough pivoting off to the northeast, but still some residual cool air aloft. So some of these cumulus clouds will bubble up tomorrow, perhaps an isolated shower with cool highs around, uh, around 74 degrees. The average high is about 82 for this time of year. Nicer on Sunday, partly cloudy, 80 for the high temperature, warmer still on Monday at 82. And then here comes the heat on Tuesday. A little bubble of heat will move in from the southwest. So 88 Tuesday, 90, and certainly more humid on Wednesday. But here comes another strong cold front, a pretty strong trough swinging out of Canada. And this could pop some severe storms to our northwest on Wednesday. And some of the new data is indicating that the wind fields aloft will be pretty strong on Thursday. And there will be some instability. So we'll watch Thursday. The potential, that's the key word, potentials there for a broken line of storms to form in the afternoon. Some of those may be severe. We'll watch that as those move through. And then sharply cooler on Friday, only 76 degrees for the high temperature. And this cool weather pattern is going to settle in for Labor Day weekend through September the 5th, August 28th through September 5th. Cooler than normal temperatures in our area. Record heat in the west and also a little drier than normal for most of us. The wet stormy weather staying south of us again for the Labor Day weekend. So forecast tonight, 55, partly cloudy. Again, a few scattered thunder showers around. Tomorrow, just isolated showers. Highs around 74 with a lot of clouds bubbling up in the heating of the afternoon. Cool on Saturday night, near record cool at 52 before we heat up very quickly. Upper 80s to right around 90 early to mid next week. And then a sharp cold front Thursday. Check out Friday's high only. 76 and the 70s may hang on for four or five days. Might have an early fall, huh? Yeah. It, boy, it's certainly looking uh, looking like that. A lot of cool weather on the Hey, way. Saturday night, Jazz and Blues Festival. Going to be dry after Sh 5 o'clock? Should be dry, but cool.